Alright guys, today I'm going to be doing the review of Lionel's Norfolk Southern Genset Switcher. It's a Vision Line engine and it's really, really a beautiful engine. It's packed with lots of details. I'm going to try to make this review as quick as um, possible, but also show as much as I can in it. Um, on the side, we have the engine number 300. It also says 3G S21B. Um, on the front of the engine, we have an electrocoupler, the coupler cut bars, fixed pilots on this engine. They don't swing out like other um, most other diesels, the legacy diesels. Um, also, um, there's compartments that flip up right here. They're held down by magnets. There is um, this door that opens right here. It's held in by a magnet also. These compartments come down to show some detail on the side of the engine. They're also magnetic. There's uh, moving windows in the cab and um, there's mirrors. These mirrors move also. Um, there's a detail that you're not going to be able to see in this video is on these steps coming up. Um, there's real metal tread on this. It actually has little tiny holes in it like real tread would have. Now on the, the gen sets are uh, four wheel trucks. There's a lot of detail on the trucks. Um, there's also um, a builder's plate that looks like it's right here. Lots of separately applied details down the side of the engine. Um, this piece right here is removable. Um, the roof is also removable, which I'll show you the inside of that in just a moment. Um, there's a lot of detail on top of the roof, like the horn and the other details. There's um, on the side of the engine here, it says Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3. And of course, the flap on the smokestacks opens and closes as the exhaust comes out of each engine. Um, and I'll show you, they're just very, they're very fragile. You just, you can lift them up. And um, I'll show you the inside of the cab now. Okay, here we're taking a look down inside of the cab of the engine that's very, very detailed. There's um, two engineers in the, in the cab. Um, lots of detail. Um, there's gauges. See those white gauges down there that are in front of the engineer? Those actually light up whenever the engine is running, which is really cool. It's probably one of the neatest features I was surprised by when I got my genset. Okay, now we're looking at the side of the engine. Um, it has really nice, crisp, clear painting, the Norfolk Southern logo on it. Um, these grills are see-through, which is really, really nice. And of course, um, there's lots of separately applied painted details, like um, the red right here and a nice tank, and um, other details along the side that are legible with the magnifying glass. Okay, we're looking at the back side of the engine now. On the back of the engine, um, we have the number boards with 300 on it, the LED reverse lights. Um, there's also LED oscillating ditch lights on the back, and I did, didn't mention them that they are on the front also, which I'm sure we all know that by now. Um, and there's lots of other nice details like the hoses and um, you can see all the grills and everything on this side of the engine as well. Okay, now we're looking at the other side of the engine, and what I wanted to show is, is this um, side compartment that opens to reveal all of the control and program switches and smoke of the Odyssey and everything, which is really nice. It's convenient to access whenever you're running if you want to turn off something or program the engine, turn the volume up and down. Okay, here's what the box looks like that the Norfolk Southern Gen Set Switcher comes in. It's a really, really nice box, and um, the Vision Line uh, Gen Sets are not screwed down to a wooden block like most of the other Vision Line engines are. They're just in a styrofoam box on the inside, and um, you can see the product number 682, or I'm sorry, 6 28323 on the side of the box. And it's a really nice box, and it's it Lionel did a great job with it. 
Okay guys, well that pretty much wraps up the review for Lionel's Vision Lion Norfolk Southern Gen Set Switcher. Overall, it's a really, really awesome engine. Um, as an entry line basically into Vision Line, um, it doesn't get any better than this. It's a really awesome engine. And I also want to add in that um, the, the Gen Set actually can navigate 036 curves, but the issue that you run into is that the, um, the couplers hit the stationary pilots and what will happen is, is that it can only bend so far if it's pulling freight or pushing freight and it pushes the um, cars um, to the point where they derail so pretty much um, you can run this engine solo around 036 but the minimum is definitely 042 um, thanks for watching and now um, I'll let you enjoy the sounds of it one more time <laughs> this got stuck a little bit on that one. That's the thing with these um, these flaps do need cleaned every once in a while. And there's that great horn. Thanks again for watching it. Appreciate all your support and comments.